Hi Aries, if you want to come on in, have a seat. Here's your Rorschach. Feel free to take a screenshot to scry on your own time and terms. And let's get ready to dig in. Aries, let's close the eyes, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support with our psyche and psychic senses. Let's go. Thank you for holding space so I can share my insights, but be sure to feel free to comment below and share what you see, sense, and feel, inspiring others. Aries, I see tuning forks. I see tuning forks, and then there's like a stick between the two. It's making me uh, see like a security system in place and it's as simple as a stick. It's as simple as a stick. Something about uh, the reverberations of things. Also a hammock. There's a, a, a little bundle. There's a little bundle in there. Aries. Kind of gives me a Blair Witch feeling, I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a Blair Witch feeling. I think there's a Bigfoot and Blair Witch kind of walk in the woods. And there's bundles and security systems in place. I think it's Bigfoot that does that. Places and does things with branches and trees to create coves or messages. And the Blair Witch thing is more of like these bundles hanging from a tree. But what I'm hearing is that they're all about like little security systems or symbols that mean something. Uh, the tuning forks might, they could be trees because I'm seeing a lot of uh, green up there, but see like there's little uh, gray clouds, but there's something about the heart Talking to trees might help, Aries. Talking to trees. There's this, okay, supernatural, supernatural. And there is a lovely dove in there. I love it. Okay, so this feels like a supernatural cloud. This feels like more of the earthly realm but it's uh, treetops and I don't know if you can see it with me how it's lightening up oh and I wanted to show you that that dove as well in there peace something about peace oh like this this foliage there's something else I'm seeing but I can't quite uh, my psyche and senses haven't quite uh, transformed with the ink Oh, uh, there's feathers at the bottom. Oh, my nose is very itchy. They are brown and maybe like beige to yellow. Could be eagle or owl feathers or hawk. I'm not a bird connoisseur, but there's something. Maybe, maybe it's even just the symbol of feathers means something to you. There's a sweeping. And what's really interesting... I need to find a better stand. I'm not qualified for such a dainty stand. Okay, so I'm in here. And I'm going to do my best for a moment to express how I'm feeling it. Because it just happened to me. If you were to look at an entrance traditionally, right? And like head on. And even if I was to move to the left or the right, the entrance stays like that. And forgive me for my innocent way of trying to explain this. How I'm seeing this entrance is skewed. So if you were looking at it head on, it's it doesn't logically line up to see an entrance or an exit. And if I was over here, same thing. It would create like it would blend in with the background 
right there. Interesting. Uh, there's, I don't know if they're kitty cat heads. Some sort of animal that's loyal to you, spirit animals, whatever could be stepping forward right now. Baby bear, bear cub, bear cub, bear cub. I'm hearing a chamber. It's a chamber. Well, there's other little creatures in there too. I really do need a magnifying glass because like, I get nosy. If I was watching, thank you. Sorry, my nose is itchy. If I'm watching the labyrinth, the movie Labyrinth with David Bowie, and if I recall correctly, there is a little worm that kind of pops out at some point in time when she's in the maze or perhaps starting the maze. I'm not entirely sure of the time frame. And this little worm guy kind of pops out and he might be like, good day, mate. I'm not really sure, but I can hear him in my head. I feel like you have one of those, like tiny, tiny, tiny up there. Something about sweeping with those feathers uh, like an actual feather duster made of collected feathers to like I don't know if it's oracly sweep or physically dust or symbolically sweep okay and I'm seeing it two ways it sweeps and then it sweeps in Okay, so this whole tuning fork, chamber, Blair Witch, uh, Bigfoot, dove thing. Um, though it's black, so it's safe and protected, there's purple in there. Very, 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 very deep purple. And it's bringing me back to the supernatural and the natural. And the each tuning fork of these of this forest, some symbolic forest, is sending out frequencies to each supernatural and natural. But this dove or peace piece of peace or bird is in a cage right now I think it has something to do when this stick is pulled out and this bundle comes down and can be swept out I don't know that's how I'm feeling in Aries I'm going to flip it to win it and we're going to start adding on some oracle cards be sure to like share and subscribe and feel free to support buy me a coffee or paypal link below to help a gal grow and aries i don't want to take up too too much of your time but okay so see these things here They're like, um, I don't know the word for them, but when maybe in the olden days and they were protecting something or, or I don't, their community actually. So as a security or defense, they would have this tower so they could view. And then there might be a bell or a signal that like a fire was lit that would communicate to perhaps something else or uh, a different lookout 
lookout, a different lookout. Thank you. We're here for Aries. Sorry if I did not clarify that in my shuffling. I'm also seeing, and I'm, I apologize for that pause, but sorry, not sorry, really. I completely enjoy the silent spaces, as awkward as they can be for some, but I really appreciate them being held. I'm also seeing, I don't know what Star Wars movie it's from, but it's more so just in regards to the actual things. My nose is itchy again. They're like these big machine-y things, and they walk awkwardly like the legs are really really tall and long okay so now I'm being taken to say this was and if I recall in the movie they could be of the enemy and the Aryan tower lookout things saw them coming allowed them to get close and then put a stick in to trick trip them trip them because they knew they were up to some sort of mis mischief and see all those sticks yeah okay but what I don't know is if it's internal or external There's a magic flower that floats between between these things, uh, whether they're you know internal or external, right? And there's a the stick that's tripped them up because these lookouts were on it, but it could be internal, right? So. But there's this floating flower. Regenerations on the bottom. I don't know, it's very interesting. Okay, oops. Cards are going cray cray. Hunger, vampire. Look at that. Mischief and Vampire. Immediately I want to say, yeah, because maybe you've been bitten before. So you're on the lookout for this. Let's say look out, look in. Both of these cards have their mouth open. Sorry, I know it's... I think it's a goat and then a human. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of feels like this lookout look in as well. The underworld, you might be really doing some of your own shadow work. Right behind it is Cerebus. And then again is regeneration. Holy Aries, give me one moment here. Oh, I just got really, really, really cold. Really, really, really cold. Mischief, Puka, and Hunger, Vampire is what came up. 44 and 28. And then you had the Underworld, Hades with Cerebus. 9 and 7, both deep cards. And then 11, the gates here. Hydra to hydration. See that face back there? I'm going to try and... Right, okay, yep. That's the white dove feel. The... I just... I, we used this word yesterday with my girlfriend. What was it? Oh my goodness, what was it? Oh my goodness. Sculpting. The white sculpture is the piece that it feels, but there's some sort of 
uh, shadow work that's being done but very light um, for the purpose of light and even as this vampiric energy internal external but look how like there's a singing that's going to happen if it's not already being had there's just more branches of singing when stuck singing when stuck is kind of coming through all right aries you know what do we have here to add on for aries no we're going to go this way all right to close out again thank you so much if you've stuck with me through this very <laughs> symbolic story but i appreciate it this info also reminds me of uh taurians uh, the taurus they're similar not similar but they have a, uh, a feel. I'm also seeing some sort of squeak toy or uh, toy from childhood right there in the stick. If it feels more of a block of your tuning forks or it's a security system that's been put in place, like this is a baby toy, not I, I'm two or three like toddler style. This is straight up baby toy um, in the time of teething in the time of teething we're here for Aries I'm gonna say nothing I feel like that makes complete and perfect sense to somebody fire element and owning I want to note that in this second house, it's not about the actual uh, intellectual correlation for me in this moment. See how there's the two coins, supernatural, natural, two coins. Desire, vampiric desire. I already put those other cards back. Do we have anything else for Aries to close out? There's a lot of cards here, but I will quickly go through them for you. So blessings, moon, soul, and void, of course, missing. Blessings, I don't know if I've already unshuffled them. Yeah, it's already gone. Uh, blessings was also on the bottom of the other deck at one point in time. So the work, whatever you're doing in both realms, in two sides of the coin it's going to open up a third it's not about the two sides there is a third something's missing some piece is missing what do we have here escape 12th house I'm going to leave that there, Aries. This escapism is like, um, see that? Almost like a, a spiral staircase is how I'm seeing it. Mm. And you can descend and ascend, descend and ascend wherever your desire meets you. But watch for that desire. I probably am not going to be able to find it quickly. Yep, there it is. Right. Hmm. All right, Aries. That was a fascinating, fascinating story. And I am so grateful that I got to be a part of it. So until next time, I, I hope this serves you well. And may it inspire you. Thank you so much.